No, sir. No? Yes, sir. Yeah, it was a topic left in the, I mean, the very first unit. Okay. Here it talks about uh, morphology of uh, flowering plants. I mean, it's, it's just about, I mean, nothing about I me mean, flowering plants. It talks about the whole, I mean, morphology of a plant. Okay. It, uh, as I said to you, the plant is in the two form. Your base is called root system. Your upper is called your shoot system. Okay. Your shoot system will be having your flower, fruit, stem, leaves. Okay. Your nodes, your internode, buds, everything. The same thing when you're coming with, I mean, uh, root system, you'll be having a primary root. You'll be having your, I mean, secondary root and all those stuff. There's a basic morphology of a plant. Okay. You'll be studying all those things. Okay. I mean, as you all know, I mean, morphology talks about the structure. I mean, structure, its function. Okay. Everything. So root is defined as, I mean, descending part of a plant axis. Okay. Without uh, root, the plant won't uh, uh, stand firmly in a a graph ground uh, the given potting medium okay it also talks about i mean positively geotrophic okay you all know i mean plant will grow in a i mean in a I mean, very desired uh, you all know that the plant will be growing in the I mean, very desired i mean uh, geotropism okay what is called geotropic okay geotropic means it's uh, i mean uh, the movement of a plant okay the movement of a plant i mean uh, as you all know you have i mean geotrophic you have in mean, hydrotrophic you have a phototrophic okay the plant will go in search of the i mean richness okay maybe i mean the richness of a soil or sunlight for example if you plant uh, i mean uh, a tree or a plant in a given planting medium of a pot something what happens the plant will just move towards that i mean in that i mean own direction because of uh, in search of what the I mean sunlight. The same thing if you have a land mass over there and if you have a small amount of I mean water nearby, what happens? The plant will move towards it, this one. Okay, towards the water. I mean, uh, so I mean it is positively, I mean in geotropic, it is uh, I mean positively in hydrotropic, it is negatively in phototropic. Okay, and also you all know uh, it develops uh, I mean radical from the embryo. Okay, where you all can know when you sow a seed, the two seeds will just split into cotyledon, um, dicot or monocot, and just give a radical. I mean radical means a root. Okay, and roots are generally non-green and cylindrical. Okay, they produce only one similar organ, secondary and tertiary roots and root has. Okay, they, they do not have a show nodes and internodes. The root, uh, they don't have all those. Then coming to you all know, I mean, uh, each I mean, uh, root have uh, your, I mean, root cap, so yeah, you have, I mean, uh, all sort of uh, this parts, but it's not, I mean, very essential to you people. Then coming to your I mean, functions of root, okay, you have a primary function, you have secondary function, okay, primary function of root is to, I mean, anchorage, okay, it will be, I mean, used to anchor and help to, I mean, uh, fix and firm, I mean, fix the uh, plant in the, firmly in the soil. And also it talks about your, I mean, absorption, I mean, uh, about your, I mean, uh, absorption of water and minerals, okay, it also talks about soil and, I mean, conduction of absorption, okay. Then talking about secondary, okay, in secondary roots, it will, I mean, uh, undergo in the uh, food. Okay, it will uh, undergo in you know, I mean, different modifications like uh, I mean food. I mean roots has food. Okay, bulbs has food. Okay, I'll just I mean uh, explain you in you know, I mean upcoming slides. Okay, secondary means it talks about I mean performing any certain functions or it 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 it, it, it undergo any I mean a uh, uh, new modifications. Okay, it may be through leaves, maybe through stem, maybe to roots. Okay. Then uh, you all know that, I mean, it's a very basic, uh, I mean, morphology. We have two, one is called taproot and we have fibrous root. Okay, taproot, you all can see over there. In fact, you'll be having a one single uh, root with all sort of has and all thing. Then fibrous root, you all know, it's a very I mean a cluster of roots. Okay, taproots are seen in trees and all those things. I mean, fibrous roots, uh, you can see in small, small herb shrubs and all those things. It differs with the, this one, morphology and physics of a tria, tria plant. Then also you have, I mean, uh, your root
Yeah, you all can see my screen right now. Can you see my screen, ma? Hello. So your voice is not yeah. audible, yes, sir. Now it's audible right now. Yeah, yes, sir. It's audible, sir. Yeah, yeah. Shall I start? Oh, yes, yes, sir, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay, ma. So again, uh, I mean, as we saw the previously, it was tap root and I mean pi plus root. I mean, they have uh, all the I mean, radical system. They have through root in the this is called a through root. Okay, uh, from the through root, it just forms all the I mean your primary and secondary and tertiary roots. Okay, then coming to I mean uh, adventitious root. In this, I mean uh, it is a form of uh, I mean radical. Okay, it will it will uh, the roots uh, the roots will develop in I mean any other part of a plant. Okay, for example, sugar. Okay, and all those. I mean, your plant called sugar cane. Okay, then coming to roots. Okay, when we talk about modification of root, roots are in two types. One is called I mean storage. One is called tap root and adventitious root. Okay, in tap root, you'll be having a storage of food. Maybe you I mean a respiration. Even a roots can I mean will respire. I mean, as I said to you in the, in the very previous slide. Okay. Then also talks about I mean adventitious root. It also talks about storage of food, support and special functions. When coming to oh, modification of trap root, I mean as I said you, it's about storage of food. Okay, you all know I mean trap root will be very fleshy and will be I mean, will be very swollen and have a moisture and I mean starch in it. Okay, for example, you can see radish, beetroot, carrot. All these are I mean trap roots. Okay, these all are the roots which are I mean uh, store the food. Then coming to a modification of root of a uh, same type root is in the form of fusy form. This is a form of fusy. This is a form of uh, this one. I mean, uh, form of a uh, hypocotyl. Okay. This is a form of uh, I mean fusy form. You can, you can see it will be in the form of a uh, uh, very swollen, and you can see it as a form of taper one. Okay, and you can see conical, like radish, and you can see nappy form like uh, beet roots. You are getting. The point: fusy form, conical, and nappy form. This is the I main uh, morphological of uh, root in storage food. Then comes with I mean, I mean uh, this one: your uh, respiration. Okay, this especially you can see in the swamps and dams and I mean uh, marshland. Especially you can see the example of the land uh, surface quality. I mean Sundarbans. Okay, I mean uh, there you can see all these I mean uh, mangrove uh, trees over there. Okay, uh, I mean under the roots one day it will be outer. Uh, I mean outer the land surface. Okay, for the respiration. Then you have I mean uh, storage of food again by simple tubers root. Okay, either one day you will be having that I mean sweet potatoes. Okay, and uh, other like uh, I mean potatoes and all those things. Then coming to I mean uh, mechanical support. Okay, I mean uh, mechanical support means uh, to support the uh, I mean uh, tree. Okay, for example, I mean you have two. One is called prop. One is called climbing. Okay, prop. You all know it will be I mean having a support uh, for the I mean uh, branches. Okay, like banyan tree. Okay, because I mean a banyan tree is a very huge tree. It needs the support for the I mean branches. Okay, then coming to climbing tree. I mean uh, climbing roots like uh, money plant, patos. Okay, like I mean uh, ivy. Then still roots is again I mean a mechanical support I mean as I said you like an example of sugar cane okay maize bajra jowar all you I mean uh, this one field okay then coming to effective roots okay this especially talks about oh, the I mean roots you, you can see the roots over here okay these roots are, you can see in uh, branches or in big trees this you can see especially in I mean evergreen forest okay. Because I mean they are very rich in photosynthesis. Then sucking roots, okay, which absorbs water, okay, which which flows the water to the I mean xylem and phloem, okay. Example, I mean uh, parasitic roots, okay. For forests, you can say I mean example like plumeria. Then buds, okay. I mean, you all know. I mean, each and every plant have the buds, okay. It is called I mean uh, maybe your floral or maybe in the form of I mean vegetative. Okay, when talking about I mean vegetative, it has a, it, it it comes in between both the nodes. Okay, it, it, you can see uh, it is called node. It is called internode. Okay, which has I mean 
apical buds, uh, axillary buds, uh, accessory buds, and uh, adventitious buds. Okay, each and every differ with them in physic form. Okay, you can see, I mean, uh, apex bud, okay, in the stem. This is called apex bud. Then the same thing, if you have in between the leaves, it's called axillary. If, if, it, if it's seen above the, I mean, axillary bud, it's called accessory. Okay, all these, I mean, all these morphology and classification and structure of plants is based on the functions and the physic. Okay, and also coming to, I mean, floral. Okay, floral, you all know, I mean, uh, when, when a flower, I mean, uh, blooms, it has, I mean, uh, for those, I mean, cycles previously, it, it has a small leaf and that leaf promotes a small bud and that bud will become into a big flower. Then function of stem. Okay, you all know, okay, I mean, even uh, 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 stem stores the food. Okay, and also it needs, I mean, uh, support. It's need, I mean, propagation also because, I mean, even if you cut a rose stem or sugar cane or whatever it may be, it again regrowth, it again, I mean, propagate it into a new plant. Then modification of stems, okay, you have underground, you have sub -aerial, you have aerial. You all know what is underground, you always call, I mean, sub -aerial. It, it will be in between uh, landmass and your, this one. Okay, I'll just show the, all the examples. Then aerial, okay. Then... Uh, Coming to underground modifications, okay. As I said, you it will say it is, uh, I mean, herbaceous, okay. It is a very short plant, it is especially seen uh, underground, okay. And also, I mean, uh, store the food, okay. And also, uh, for example, like ginger, okay. Uh, then uh, turmeric, all these, e even if you take a slice of ginger and put in a tree in a, in a, a soil, it will again propagate. You can see that. It's the best example is the ginger or turmeric for rhizomes. Then tuber, potatoes. You can see all those small, small uh, nodes in the potatoes and ginger. Then bulb modification, onions, ginger, sorry, your garlic. Then com, especially like a uh, Colocasia, yam, all these. Then stem tendrils. Okay, you all know. I mean, uh, especially this example of I mean climbers and all those things. Uh, they have I mean small I mean axillary form called stem tendrils, which they used to twing with the wire or any wood for I mean, support for its growth. Then thorns. Okay, even you can see I mean rose plants have thorns. Even I mean lemon fruits. Uh, I mean any citric fruits have uh, thorns in it. Hard thorns. To me protect against uh, I mean animals and all other creatures. Then philoclade. You all know cactus or opentia all had the thorns all over it. Then morphology of leaf. Okay, when talking about leaf, leaf is a very thin and uh, expanded form of uh, green structure. Okay, as you can see, the it has a leaf uh, blade, leaf margin, okay, leaf tip in it. Okay, and each and every leaf gives rise to a small node, okay, or I mean axillary bud. Okay, whenever you see a plant or a tree, you can see, I mean, uh, new leaves coming out in between. That is called your axillary bud. This is called your axillary bud. Okay, it generates a new one. You can see the I mean n number of I mean difference over here. Okay, you see the different types of leaves. I'm supposed to just know all these types because of the first two units we'll be talking about all the basics, botany of your I mean plants and everything. Okay, the texture, okay, the types of roots, everything. Okay. The remaining three chapters will be, I mean, you'll be designing it, all these in a given space or something. So, okay, you're getting it. You all? Yes, sir. Okay, so you can start working on the same previous which I given to you right now.
and those who have finished now let's give you two topic one is called topiary 